What's up everybody? It's Matt from TDM Style here. Welcome back to the channel. It has been a minute. Uh, so I'm so sorry I've been away for a while, but I've been kind of just like taking some time to myself and also putting like 105 hours into Elden Ring and I'm not even done yet and it's so good, holy shit! Um, but yeah, so it's been nice to have a little bit of a break, but it's time to get my ass back in gear because I have a lot of reviews and stuff that I've fallen way behind on and I've been making people wait way too long, so brands. Sorry about that. So today we're gonna kick back into review gear with the three reformulated here. Wait, what? Words? That hasn't changed. With the three reformulations of the Hong Kong homebrew products. We have the styling cream, the styling clay, and the pomade. So yeah, a few months ago, I think it's been, I don't know, it's been a while, Gary, the owner of Hong Kong Homebrew, reached out to me and he said, hey, you know, we've relocated to the UK, and with that relocation, we kind of reformulated, you know, our three hero products. Uh, basically, they are still, it's the same, you know, homebrewer, the same people brewing it, they've just, they've moved their location and they've adjusted their formulas. So let's get straight into things and start out as usual with packaging and pricing. Now the packaging has remained exactly the same. There's the uh, three ounce white plastic jars with the black text uh, on the clear label. So, you know, they look very clean. I, I always like that. So, you know, I've always been a fan of minimal packaging. I always like, you know, black and white stuff looks nice on your shelf. They're easily stackable, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it looks nice. And as far as the pricing, I think this is the same as it were before, but essentially each one is coming in at 19 pounds and whatever that translates to in American dollars. Uh, also, good news for those of you who live in the UK, I just noticed this on their website, it does say free domestic shipping on any purchases made in the UK. All right, now I'm gonna go through a quick little blurb about each product in terms of, you know, what it's meant to do for hold and all that stuff. Uh, so for the pomade, we have uh, sustaining the limited edition pomade's performance, maintaining the characteristics of a traditional oil-based pomade, uh, with enhanced washout ability of a water-based. This pomade suits all different hair textures and it's smooth, easy to absorb, and protects your hair from dehydration. It gives a medium shine, finish, and a high cohesiveness that allows restyling all day long. For the styling clay, uh, suits all different hair textures and is very fine and soft and you can feel the minerals as you spread it out in your palm. It absorbs harmful substances such as heavy metal from the hair and provides strong cohesiveness with a matte finish and allows restyling any time. To maximize the texture and volume of your hairstyle, we recommend applying our styling clay on damp hair and then blow drying it and applying another scoop as a final touch up. And last but not least, we have the styling cream. So this one is definitely different than the last time. This now says uh, it's formulated with natural ingredients and has the characteristics of an orthodox water-based pomade. So in other words, a gel type, uh, providing a lockdown effect on your hairstyle while still giving you the room to restyle throughout the day. It is silky smooth, easily absorbed by any hair types and textures. Once it's applied and dried, the natural beeswax forms a, a protective layer that blocks pollutants away and builds up a stable styling effect with a natural shine finish. So now we've got the specs and the info, and it's time to crack into a bitch, and talk about all the other stuff. So first we can talk about everybody's <clears throat> everybody's favorite category, that was a better toss, Dasan. Now this is the same as last time also, but we still got a nose in. Lemon pledge. Yeah, it's, um, I wasn't a massive fan of the scent last time, and I'm still not a massive fan of it, to be honest with you. I, I believe that this is just, because if you look at the ingredients, each one has essential oil, like, close to the end, so I believe that it's just lemon essential oil in these that's producing the fragrance. I, but to me, it, it literally just smells like lemon pledge, uh, which is not my favorite type of lemon scent. Uh, but... With that being said, it's not very strong. It definitely smells stronger in the jar than it does once you get it into the hair. And Because once it's in there, you really can't smell it anymore at all. So it's fine. All right, now quickly through the ingredients on these, because we're on three products, so I don't want this video to be 48 minutes long. All three of them are water-based. So we have aqua in the first spot on all three. Next, we'll talk about the clay first. So we've got aqua followed by best boy. <laughs> 
kaolin clay, as well as bentonite clay. Then we've got some beeswax, jojoba oil, lanolin oil, emulsifying wax, hydrogenated castor oil, peg 40, vitamin E oil, essential oil, and phenoxyethanol, which is your preservative. On the pomade, after the water, we have beeswax, jojoba oil, lanolin oil, HFCS, I don't know what that is. Emulsifying wax, hydrogenated castor oil, peg 40, uh, vitamin E, essential oil, so very similar formula, just obviously without the clays uh, and, you know, higher levels of beeswax and oils. And last but not least, the styling cream. We have the aqua, then beeswax again, emulsifying wax, HFCS, peg 40, hydrogenated castor oil, vitamin E, essential oil, and phenoxyethanol. So these are all very similar base formulas, uh, but they, and so they do share some, some similar properties in terms of the scoop and the breakdown, but... As you're about to see in the demo footage, they all do behave vastly differently from one another. So, with that being said, let's really crack into a bitch and take a look at the scoop and the breakdown. And well, then some demo footage, too. Starting with the clay, you'll recognize this if you've well, ever used a clay before. It's uh, got this kind of light grayish tone, and yeah, I mean, it, it looks like a clay. It does scoop out so easily. It is very soft, it is buttery smooth, and it breaks down completely effortlessly. It's, I, I mean, they said it's like super smooth and it is. So going to the demo footage now, I know that they recommended for the highest volume and everything to use a bit of this in damp hair, but that's not really my jam with clays. I always just start out, as I always do, freshly washed hair that has been pre-styled with just a bit of 25 spray for smoothing and detangling and then blow dried. So we're going in with just a dime sized scoop into dried hair and now this, I could immediately tell the difference in this current formula from the last time. It feels so much less dry. It is so smooth to get into the hair. It's not tangly, it's not dry. You can definitely feel the grittiness of the clay, which you want, and you can feel the, the uh, volume and the hold setting up right away, but it is so smooth, it's very user-friendly. And bitch, look at that texture. Yeah. And beyond that, it feels super lightweight in the hair. It is not heavy at all. And you really, I mean, the dime size amount was plenty for me. I do like the, you know, they're calling this a neutral matte finish, which I really enjoy. It is it is matte, uh, so it's not adding any shine, but it's also not taking away any shine, which is always my problem with, you know, some like super matte products. They, they like remove any natural shine that your hair might have and it ends up just being a dry ass bitch. That is not the case here. This just allows the natural shine of your hair to come through. So your hair just looks very, I, well, natural. And it stays bouncy. It has some movement to it, but the hold keeps up all day. So we can see here at the end of the day, we are still looking fresh as we were in the morning. It is very easy to restyle. It's soft, it's touchable, it's flowy. This is exactly the kind of things that I look for when I reach for a styling clay. Now, next we have the styling cream. Now this one, I, if I remember correctly, this was my favorite of the lot last time. This time it's definitely a bit different. Uh, so as far as the scoop and the breakdown, it is still very, very creamy and soft and easy to scoop. But one thing I noticed in the breakdown is that it has these kind of little crystally, like sand-like bits in it. And I had some trouble breaking them down. I, you could see here in the demo footage, even at application, uh, which once again, by the way, we're going into clean dried hair, pre the 25 spray. Um, you could see some of the little bits that I was trying to like get rid of. I did ask Gary about this, if that was like meant to be in there or if something was going on. And he did say that they, you know, they're there and they should break down easily. Um, but for me, I did struggle with that. So that was kind of a disappointment. But now where the main difference is from the previous formula is the hold. This thing is so fucking strong now, which for me meant it was a very um, tuggy, pulley, sticky, strong feeling application, which you guys know is not my favorite. Uh, that did lead to that kind of tangly ends dry feeling in the hair, but God damn, is it strong. I mean, once you get it into the hair, if you can kind of comb through it, it helps to alleviate the tangliness a bit if you are a fellow uh, coarse wavy hair type person like me. Um, and really, you know, they said they wanted it to be like a lock your hairstyle in, kind of like a gel type pomade type of effect, and it definitely does. I mean, it doesn't harden so, like a gel type would, so you don't have helmet head. Uh, it still feels, you know, lightweight and, and bouncy. Um, for me, it wasn't great at restyling just because it felt so dry and tangly, but I didn't really have to restyle it because it was just locked in all day. Um, I forgot to film at the end of the day for that one, so you'll just have to take my word for it, but I honest, it 
the next day, like I slept on it and I woke up and my hair still looked exactly the same. And last but not least, we have the pomade. How do you got, is it pomade, pomade, pomade? I don't know, how do y'all say it? Well, now, you guys know me, I'm not typically a pomade man, especially like medium to high shine products are usually, I just stay away from them because while they look great on some people, typically for me, anything that's medium or higher shine just looks greasy and it doesn't look good on my hair texture. So I was a little bit nervous going into that, but, uh, well, more on that in a second. First, we gotta look at the inside. So this one you can see is definitely waxier looking in the jar, but again, the scoop is super soft, easy. And this one, it has like, it kind of reminds me of the OG um, Morris Motley, uh, what, what did they call it back then? They've changed the name so many times. Whatever, the, the original version of the matte styling bomb, like the scoop on this feels kind of like that. Like it's this fluffy, but it's also thick and I don't know. But anyway, uh, very, very smooth breakdown, super easy. Uh, it has that waxy kind of oily feel to it. And as a result, getting this into the hair is an absolute breeze. It is slick and smooth and it just, you can work into the hair in seconds. It's so easy, so user-friendly. And now it does have quite a bit of shine right up front, as you can see here. And the hold feels like maybe a medium. It doesn't feel that strong. It feels kind of, you know, it's definitely got some flow and movement to it. But let me tell you something. Uh, this thing really surprised me. First of all, once it settled in, the shine died down a little bit. It's still definitely higher shine than the other two by, by a long margin. Long, long, big, large margin? Some kind of margin, um, but I actually like it on me. Like it looked nice, you know, the shine didn't look too like artificial or too greasy. I actually really liked the way that it looked on me. Super easy to restyle all day. I liked that it was kind of bouncy and flowy and like had some movement, but it still maintained the shape all day. So even if, you know, I didn't have to really restyle it, but you could easily run your fingers through it or a comb or whatever. And it just had a very nice, like natural, vibe. Uh, but yeah, so definitely super pleasantly surprised by the pomade. Yeah, and uh, another thing, the washout on all three of these is so easy. I shit you not, it's like the water hits your hair and it just... That was... I feel like that like that bird from Looney Tunes when he's eating the crackers and then the cat's coming to get him and he can't whistle because he has a dry mouth. That's me, but anytime I try to whistle. Anyway, yeah, uh, it comes right out of the hair with just water, super easy, which is always nice. I know a lot of people really look for that in products, so if that's your thing, any one of these will have that effect. So yeah, overall thoughts. <laughs> it's kind of a mediocre juggle. On the reformulated Hong Kong homebrew stuff, now based in the UK, really, really good stuff. I honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the styling cream. Um, it's just, it's like too strong and too sticky and tangly feeling for me. Some people out there, I think, will definitely love this. Like if you've got finer hair that you just need something to really like lock it in and you have trouble keeping a style, this will do it because this is a strong ass fool. As I mentioned, the pomade, I was very pleasantly surprised by. I actually like this a lot. Uh, I, if I want like a shine product, this is definitely one that I would use again. And the styling clay for me is is the winner of the bunch. This, I really love what they did with this reform. It just works great. It's so user friendly. The texture and the volume are nice. And it's got that natural kind of flowy, bouncy feel to it that I look for in hair products. Um, Cause you know, I don't like having hair that feels like it has a shitload of product in it. And this feels so lightweight and so bouncy, but it controls everything and it keeps, I mean, I've got it in right now, like, eh, texture, man. Yeah, so overall, definitely big wins here. Styling cream, not for me, but it's definitely for somebody. So that wraps things up for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this and found it helpful. Please do stay tuned. Uh, I've got lots more coming. I'm, I'm working on two videos this weekend, so I should have another one coming up very shortly for you. Thanks again for dealing with my absence while I've been away a little bit, and uh, as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching, and we'll see you next time.